Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Monday, October 26th, 2009. Well folks, reversal is the key theme for the day again, as the markets, just like they went up Thursday and then reversed on Friday, again they went up early and reversed big time. We're going to discuss a lot about the key technicals on this, but the trend, the major key levels in this market continue to be spot on. We've talked about some master levels, the Great Wall of China as we coined it, they continue to hold up and you can see every time this market gets close or to those master levels, it cannot hold up and you see a monster reversal. Just like we saw on Friday, just like we saw last Wednesday when we rolled over late in the day, it continues to be the theme. Now the beauty of today, it's all about the dollar again and we've seen the dollar really catch a huge bid today, absolutely huge bid. The UUP is up 15 cents, that's after being down as much as 7 cents today on the day and I'm going to show you this chart because it's such a key chart. Here's the UUP chart. Look at this action today. Look at what the market has done. Initially, you saw weakness in the dollar. What happens to the markets early on? It, they soar. The markets ripped higher. Then all of a sudden, the dollar starts to reverse. Look at this move here on the dollar really starting right here at around 11 o'clock, 11.30, and that's when the markets just started to tank, and they've really continued to sell off from there on out. But you can see, again, down on the market, the dollar early, and look at the spiders. What do the spiders do early? They rally big, right? Here's your big rally in the in the markets off of that down drop. Then look at this right here at 11, 11.30, as I just told you, when the dollar started to rip higher, look at the drop in the markets, and it continues to be the way, because what's happening, folks, is people are beginning to get a little nervous about rates. You got the 30-year, the 10-year. Obviously, mortgages are tied in. Obviously, housing is tied into the rates, and when the dollar starts to push up, it's putting a lot of pressure on things. In addition, you have commodities commodities, whenever the dollar rallies, have major pressure on them. And you can take a look at the USO. And by the way, those that were in the chat room, those that were in the research center know I picked up some SCO. SCO is two times short oil. I picked that up last Thursday, uh, last Wednesday, Thursday at $12.25, exactly at the lows. And since then, we have moved all the way above 13 up a dollar on that overall. And that's just been a monster mover. But here you can see the USO. Look at this reversal today in the USO on the strength in the, in the dollar. The, the commodities, again, just continue to get pounded whenever the dollar jumps. And here's your SCO. This is the one that I picked up and I gave this to the chat room, folks. I gave this and here I'll show you where my entry was right back here. This is right where it was. Picked it up right here. Again, going back to, I believe, last Wednesday. Then it was up in the money, continuing nice. You had a little bit of a dip this morning, never got back to my entry. And then look at this move here, trading up over a dollar on the SCO on a $13, $12 stock, really from my entry at $12.25, now trading at $13.33. And you got to understand how to make use of the technicals because that was a pure and simple technical trade based on key levels, based on master resistance level, based on the markets, based on the dollar looking for a bounce. You put it all together in one pot, stir it up, and you're going to come out with a great signal about how to manipulate, how to master the key levels to make profits in this market. It doesn't matter if it's gold, oil, the dollar, or the markets, or individual stocks. It works. So again, there's oil. There's the oil short ETF. And look at that move up today, up 51 cents. What a move there on that. Now, in addition, let's go back to the spiders and talk about key levels. Early on, again, as the dollar fell down, you saw the markets just rip higher. I mean, it was a monster move. The Dow was up about 150 points, just around that level. Since then, we've reversed to down 100. Think about that, folks. Down 100. That's a 250-point reversal in this market today on the back of some key levels. Now, look at this 200 moving average. By the way, definitely some nice little scalps today. We had one nice scalp to the upside and then obviously a couple shorts for a couple pullbacks. But in any case, you can see right here, as the market went up right into that 200 moving average, look at it pierced and closed above. Now, what do you guys know? And again, this is more to the premium guys out there that are part of the research center. They'll know better than you guys because I don't go over it often with the free videos. But what you see there is the close above the 200. Most amateurs will say, oh, we just broke the 200. This market's going higher. The other side of the coin is this. I preach and we preach here at In The Money Stocks that you have to look for confirmation. When you get confirmation, then you know it's going higher. However, you do not get confirmation here. There's no confirmation. And again, you have to tune into the research center, but that will tell you how to know if the market's going to fall or go up. And look, no confirmation, no confirmation. And before you know it, you're back below. Here you close above again. Do you get confirmation? No, you actually get an engulfing reversal candle there. And then the selling just starts and all the way down. So you never confirm above the 200 moving average. And that is a key thing telling you that this market is ready to come down off those levels. And again, you can see the reversal that took place, a monstrous reversal continuing to be dead on on this pullback in the market, still holding plenty of my shorts, obviously, uh, that I've been able to accumulate at the master levels, the Great Wall of China levels, 109.68, 110.30 and change. All right, those are the master levels. You never saw the market get above that 130. That was our ultimate high level in this market. And so far, you're talking about a $3 pullback 
in the spiders. Actually, more than three dollars off that master level. Nailed li literally within three pennies. Three pennies on the SPY. hundred and ten dollar ETF within three pennies of that exact level, and down it comes right off there. Three dollars. Think about that return. Think about that expertise. Now, again, what you're seeing here is the market trying to consolidate in a bearish pattern. You had a little bit of bearish consolidation. You made a down move. Now you have a nice little bottoming tail, but you could be doing a little bit of in spirit of bearish inside this red candle as well. What you want to follow for more than anything, folks, is watch volume later this afternoon. You've lightened up in volume quite a bit. A lot has to do with this dollar. The dollar's getting a little near-term extended today, and it may need to come back a little bit. So watch that, please, because that could tell us if the dollar does pull back a little, this market may get a small bounce into the afternoon session. But the keys, again, guys, know what's going to happen this week. I warned this weekend in the weekend free video uh, for the weekend guys out there, the guys that you guys watch this. I warned this to my premium subscribers. This is going to be a wild week. It's already got off with a bang. All right, the volume today is pretty solid. It looks like more than 200 mil uh, million will be traded. When 200 million or more traded, the market's down. It's just that simple. When it's under 200 million, the market's up. So you can see how these things are coordinating. It's all coordinating. You got to understand all these rules. And again, I spit them out really easily here. We go in more depth, obviously, in the research center. Give you all the research center premium guys a little more in-depth analysis. Obviously, instead of a free, free seven to ten minute video here, they're getting a free 40 minute or a included 40 minute video along with the hot charts and alerts, pro trader watch list, uh, daily market report, hot hidden gems, uh, technical tactics, more than that stuff, all included there. So I do encourage you to join because again, the money's there for the taking. I mean, it's 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 almost silly not to take advantage of it because of the amount of money that you make and the amount of money that those of us uh, in the research center can follow the premium levels. It's just a no-brainer. It's best no-brainer in the world. One trade off one of our levels over the the hundred in a month pays for about a year now, probably about ten years. Can even pay ten years of that research center. In any case, folks, here you see the market's getting a small bounce. You do have a little bottoming tail here. We'll watch to see what pattern develops. Resistance on this SPYs at 107.30. If you get through 107.30, you look at 107.50, and then ultimately coming up into this blue trend line at 107.70. Downside support, really, this line has held very nicely at 107. It's been a beautiful even number play at 107. You got to a low of 106.69, but you never closed below 107. This white line right here dictates a major support line. And again, until you close below that, I wouldn't be sure this market's going to sell anymore today. Maybe you're putting in the lows. All that matters, again, if we can close below 107, you should head to 106.60. That would be your next target on the downside. If you can get below this, you can go to this dotted line right down here. Now, again, the keys in this are the dollar. There's the dollar chart, folks. You can see you're about a penny off the highs of the day on the UUP, up 15 cents. That's a big move in the dollar on the UUP, the, do the UUP being the ETF for the dollar here that you can follow. But look at that move, and notice how the markets have gone like this. This is the market today. See how it's exactly the inverse of what you did on the dollar here? And that's something you need to continue to remember. The dollar plays a big role in commodities. The dollar plays a big role in a lot of other things here. And you need to understand how the dollar is going to affect the markets going forward. You want to be on the cutting edge of that. Obviously, we have projections. In fact, I went bullish to our premium subscribers on the dollar two days ago. And since then, the dollar has gone on the UUP from basically $22.28, which was the low we had told them there was support going to be. You never got to close below that low. And now we're at $22.58. Cents. So you're talking about 30 cent move in the SPY, basically, off that level, folks. And that's, again, pure and simple in the research center, in the chat room. That's where you're getting these calls continuing to be almost 100% accuracy. Come and join the research center. We hope to see you soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. And we'll be back tomorrow as well. Take care.